public record. Thank you. Good evening, trustees. My name is Diane Hickey. I'm the parent of a sophomore in the district. I'm submitting into the public record facts relative to wireless radiation and the health of the students and teachers. In May of 2015, an appeal signed by over 200 international scientists, all producing peer-reviewed <coughs> science on EMF, over 2,000 pieces, was made to the UN and the World Health Organization, declaring our exposure to wireless an emerging public health crisis damaging our DNA and leading to premature death. This was brought to your attention several months ago. Why is the district installing wireless into our children's and teachers' school environment? In October 2015, leading experts, scientists, and doctors sent an open letter to the U.S. Secretary of Education, Arne Duncan, and incoming acting Secretary John King, detailing the health risks of wireless technology. The title of the press release, Play It Safe with Kids, Go Wired, Not Wi-Fi. Why is the district installing wireless into our children's and teachers' school environment? Last month, Roxana Marachi, Ph.D., gave public testimony before the U.S. Department of Ed public hearing on the new ESA law held at UCLA. Dr. Marachi stated, I echo the recommendations documented in the EMF Scientists' Appeal and the Environmental Health Trust open letter and call on your administration to prominently display full disclosure of exposure to EMF. Government websites are heavily promoting the exact kind of technologies that scientists and medical doctors are recommending to limit. Early in 2015, France passed a national law banning Wi-Fi from nursery schools and mandating that schools turn off Wi-Fi whenever it is not in use. In mid-2015, the Israeli Ministry of Education banned Wi-Fi in kindergarten and the use of wireless in other grade levels is restricted. The Ashland, Massachusetts School District has instituted the following policy on wireless to be posted in every classroom. Turn Wi-Fi on only when needed. Viewing distance should be a minimum of 12 inches from the screen. Although Ashland, Massachusetts is moving in the right direction, turning microwave radiation on and off is not an acceptable remedy. Schools around the world are banning wireless because, it's, because it is a health hazard. Why is Wi-Fi being banned reduced starting with the youngest? Young, developing bodies are most vulnerable to the hazards of microwave radiation. So naturally, if you are trying to back away from a national public policy, you are going to take care of the most vulnerable first and phase it in. And that is precisely what they are doing. For the public record, I am notifying you of the following two U.S. lawsuits. Number one, Murray versus Motorola, cell phone cancer case may cost wireless industry over $1.9 billion. That's from the Wall Street Journal. You trustees have been presented the science showing RF radiation to be a carcinogen. Since then, more studies have come out confirming this. In 2012, the Italian Supreme Court ruled that cell phone radiation caused a man's tumor. You have refused to meet with Leonard Hardell, MD, PhD, lead researcher on the often cited cancer study which concluded that RF radiation should be considered carcinogenic. Exposure guidelines need to be urgently revised. Number two, a lawsuit brought by the parents of a student at the Fay School in Massachusetts for failing to accommodate a student's alleged Wi-Fi sensitivity. The 12-year-old suffers from EHS due to exposure at school. Electrohypersensitivity is also known as microwave sickness. EHS is another subject entirely. Through personal contact with teachers, I am learning that it is destroying ending teachers' careers destroying their personal lives as they are unable to function in these exposures, now ubiquitous. The writing is on the wall, the lawsuits are starting, and there's more coming. This is not to be ignored or dismissed. There is no amount of E-rate funding that will compensate for manifestation of this health hazard on the lives and futures of our children and teachers. Why are you trustees moving ahead with irradiating the students and teachers Contrary to the science, the evidence, <laughs> lawsuits, and laws. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. King.
That concludes the topics not on the agenda. The next item is board member superintendent comments. Anyone have any comments uh, this time? Hearing none, we will now be in adjournment until the next meeting. We're not going in.